Hi, my name is Mary Ann Hill, and I'd like to give you a little parent information for the incoming ninth graders for the 2021-2022 school year. We are very excited here at the new Sherman High School to welcome our newest Bearcat members. Here at the high school, we do things a little differently, and I'd like to give you a little information so that you are aware of what's going on and you can help your student with the registration process that will begin next week. You see here a list of our principal, associate principal, assistant principals, and counselors. Counselors and assistant principals are assigned to your student based on your, uh, your student's last name. And of course, everyone has the same principal and associate principal. We talk a lot about graduation requirements. We begin the registration process with the um, beginning courses for your incoming ninth grader. We have eight course requests in eight classes per year. So students have the ability to earn eight credits um, during their first year and all subsequent years. 26 credits are required for graduation and they are listed here. Your student will see a video that, that breaks down what a credit is, why you would want a credit, and how important they are to graduation. It's really important as well for us to convey the, the importance of ninth grade in their graduation plan. Um, we will be in classrooms uh, next week to talk to students about course registration and um, all of these um, important aspects of their ninth through 12th grade years. It's important too that you have a, um, a role in helping them to choose the correct courses and helping them to choose classes and electives that they're interested in and that are relevant to them. They will be bringing this information home to you as well, and um, we will have all of our videos and, and course registration information and forms available online. Nothing will be turned in this year. Everything is through um, Google technology and uh, digitally um, submitted. So that's exciting this year. The next thing we're going to talk about a lot with your student is the need for an endorsement and what an endorsement is. Counselors talk to students each year about their endorsements and we describe them each and every year. An endorsement is sort of like a major in college. It just means that a student takes a lot of one subject for the entirety of the time that they're in high school. So if a student is interested in culinary arts, they're able to earn an endorsement because of their work in culinary arts from their ninth to their 12th grade year. They'll earn a business and industry endorsement. You can earn an endorsement because you take a whole lot of math classes, that would be a STEM endorsement, or a whole lot of science classes, that would be a STEM endorsement. You can earn an endorsement because you love art, or you love theater, or you're you love band. Those would be arts and humanities endorsements. There's lots of ways to earn an endorsement, but you have to earn at least one endorsement in order to graduate. But of course, we encourage students to uh, participate in as much as they can so that they can earn um, as many endorsements as they can as well. Once your student submits their course registration information, their counselor will create a four-year plan for them. Um, this plan will be revisited each and every year on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Every counselor meets with, their, with your child each year to talk about course requests, um, to give information um, about what's, um, what they need to know for that year, and um, as they get towards their 11th and 12th grade year, about what they should be doing um, in order to um, make sure that they get into the college that they want. This is our registration timeline. 
Um, so this is what your student will be experiencing for, um, next week and throughout the next month. Um, February 5th, which is today, um, the day that I'm, I am presenting this video, science teachers are showing their students our CTE video, and you will have access to this video. You can watch it as well, watch it with your students um, to determine which of our CTE, which of our many amazing CTE pathways are the most relevant to them, their skill sets, their likes, their, and their dislikes. February 9th and 10th, SHS counselors will be at Piner in science classes to guide students through the registration process. Um, each student will be um, given a QR code to scan with their own device. So have students bring their devices on, on the 9th and the 10th. And um, students will um, have the ability to go through the um, course registration form um, with us first, and then you can go in with them and resubmit. Um, students can submit this form as many times as they would like, and we will um, delete all um, submissions except for the last submission. So make sure that the last timestamp submission is the one that you want um, with the, the courses that you desire. All of these course selections are due February 12th. And I might add that any, um, that you wanna get the course registration submissions done as quickly as possible because we will use that timestamp if courses fill up um, to um, a, a maximum capacity and we have to use a second um, elect, uh, elective um, option that students will choose. So make sure you get yours in um, as soon as possible um, so that you can um, make sure that you get the classes that you want. Now, um, the next two are um, pertaining to our Bearcat Collegiate Program. The Bearcat Collegiate Program is a program that allows incoming ninth graders to begin working on their associate's degree. Um, it is an, there is an application process for this, there's a rubric that um, students have to, um, to, to meet those criteria in order to um, be selected for the Bearcat Collegiate Program. Um, you may have already seen some paperwork go home about that, possibly. There will be a video um, um, in, in the um, a course registration information that you will be able to, to watch that gives you much more detail about the program and what, what to expect. Um, we will also have a dual credit meeting, an SHS dual credit meeting, and there will be a breakout session for all BCP um, interested parents. So watch for that information as well. Um, the applications are due March 24th if this is something you're interested in. Your student will get this when the counselor is with them on the 9th and the 10th. Your student will bring this home. This is the QR code. And this is a one-stop shop for all registration information. There's videos, commercials, um, the course guide will be um, linked there. Anything that is pertaining to your child, you can find, or for um, course registration, you can find um, located at this, um, course, at this QR code. These are our counselor contacts, so um, please um, use the, um, the last name of your student to determine who your counselor is, and do not hesitate to email us any questions, concerns, um, or just um, if you, you need a little more information. We are always here and, and available for you. This is, the, this is what the video looks like for the CTE. Um, we, I'm not going to show it to you now. It'll be linked below, um, but please watch that and, um, and, and go through all of those options with your student. This is the um, option sheet your student has, has received on uh, February 5th. They, ha they, they don't have it with them. They won't have it with them until after the counselor um, sees them and goes through the registration process. It'll be um, 
kept with their science teacher, but um, this is what it looks like. After the 9th and the 10th, you will be able to ask your student for this form um, in order to, to uh, see what they chose, and um, you could even go through the, the entire video with them just to, to make sure they're making the, the best choices that pertains to them. When you scan the QR code, it's going to take you to a screen that looks like this. This eighth grade course, sorry, this eighth grade course request is the form that you will fill out and submit for your course request for your incoming ninth grader. Again, it doesn't matter how many times you submit it, the last submission will be the one that we look at um, to build a four year plan. Once students are in Sherman High School and they, um, we, uh, they're ninth graders in November of their ninth grade year, we will um, hold a meeting with them and invite uh, parents to this meeting as well so that everybody can get on board with what um, the four-year plan looks like for, for the next three years after ninth grade year. Um, you will also be able to see what courses that um, will be in your student's ninth grade year. Um, in April, we will send out information for you to verify those courses and um, to send in any information that you would like to, to change. This is the course registration video. Um, it's linked below. Um, you can watch it for, for this. Um, also, you can um, see this um, um, presentations, uh, the slides um, linked below as well. Um, this is our advanced academics. If you are wondering whether your student should take um, AA classes, this is previously pre-AP. We are now calling them AA or advanced academics. Um, so if you're, you need more information about AA classes or AP classes, um, this video will give you uh, a lot of information. It's linked below as well. And then this is what our BCP or Bearcat Collegiate Program uh, video looks like. And the links look like this and they are all below. Um, again, please reach out to your student's counselor, um, high school counselor, if you have questions. Submit your child's course request by the 12th. Submit it as many times as you want to. We will take the last submission. Um, there's no need to turn anything in to Piner. Um, and if you are ready to turn in a Bearcat Collegiate Program application, you can send those in digitally to us, um, scan them, email them. If you would email that in to me, uh, I am Marianne Hill, um, or you can drop it off to the new high school. Um, it's, it's, um, we are asking for those to be dropped off to the high school or sent in digitally to Marianne Hill. If, again, if you have questions, please contact us. We are so excited for your student to become a Sherman High School Bearcat.